As fall semester dawned at Texas Christian University in Fort Worth, senior Olivia McFall turned to Amazon to shop for books, not only because its prices were better for certain titles, but so she could get her course materials quickly. The campus bookstore could sometimes take a week or two. Unacceptable. Teachers will start assigning reading on the first day, McFall, a 22-year-old fashion merchandising major, told Forbes. You get behind if you don't have that textbook. If I buy it on Amazon, it's usually because I can get it faster than the bookstore. For decades, Amazon's lower prices and speedier delivery have blown a crater in the college bookstore business. Given the option to shop around, students only buy about one-third of their course materials at the campus store. Now the bookstores are fighting back. They say they've hit on a plan that would, almost magically, quash competition from online rivals like Amazon. TCU is among the colleges considering a model that would automatically charge students for textbooks on their tuition bills, which can be covered by financial aid, and get them to students by the time classes begin. Books are typically discounted 30% or more, said the bookstores, who negotiate volume discounts. Students must return materials at the end of the semester. Despite reservations from education advocates who worry it limits purchasing options for students, the plan, dubbed Inclusive Access, is spreading like kudzu. It rose out of a 2015 rule from the U.S. Department of Education that permitted universities to include the cost of textbooks with tuition, as long as prices were under competitive market rates and students could opt out. Bookstores latched onto the idea during the pandemic. They were looking to boost sales at a time when they were hamstrung by closures, declining enrollment numbers and the seismic shift to digital textbooks, and still are. In the 2022-23 academic year, inclusive access already captured the business of 44% of students, worth an estimated $1.4 billion annually, according to the National Association of College Stores. Illinois-based Follett Corp., a privately held company, annual sales, $1.6 billion, that operates roughly one-third of college bookstores, said the number of its campuses that have adopted the inclusive access model has tripled to 450 since 2019. New Jersey-based Barnes & Noble Education, annual sales, $1.5 billion, which spun out of the bookseller chain in 2015 and also runs a third of campus bookstores, said it has over 150 schools signed up for inclusive access, up from just four in 2019. The colleges themselves operate the other one-third of campus bookstores. Overnight, schools that switched to inclusive access brought guaranteed revenue to booksellers.